Growing up in Tacoma, you know, looking at the Will Moncrease of today, you can't see that I've been shot at more time living on the east side of Tacoma than I've ever been shot at being a tanker in the United States Army. I uh, lost three childhood friends within a two block radius of my home. Um, it was real tough growing up in that neighborhood. The rehabilitation of the Salishan neighborhood, you know, took out a, a well-used and needed community center, which doesn't exist today. Um, the library system doesn't have facilities. There aren't real good senior centers. And then over time, what we've seen are um, disinvestments happening, uh, which is uh, banks, grocery stores, uh, and just general public services. And we had some schools that closed, and we even closed a public library in the area. And you can begin to understand how the youth can look at each other and go, what are we to do now? I just remember one day driving in the car with him down Portland Avenue. And he just out of the blue said, Mom, how do you open a community center? I stopped and asked him, what is, why are you thinking about this? And he said, because there's nowhere for kids on the east side to go. He said, think about it, Mom. You just look around and you see all these little kids. They're like playing in the street. They have nothing to do. I think I had seen it, but had not given it much thought. So in this situation, although it was my son's dream, his dream was about the kids in the community. He didn't say I want it for myself. He said he wanted it for the kids. And here comes this woman who's lost her son. Um, which I think would break most people. And she's saying that what we're doing isn't good enough. We can't let this happen. There's no excuse to say we can't work together. This isn't your standard recreation center. This is a true community center where we have multiple providers bringing their expertise, their resources to this community center to really provide well-rounded services that are needed. One of the biggest challenges that we have though is that we're out of space. We'd love to be able to serve twice as many kids or more than what we're currently serving. What you create in that community is a sense of community that doesn't exist today. The proposed partnership with Metro Parks and uh, Boys and Girls Club of South Puget Sound, I think, is a great opportunity for the community to leverage resources and assets. Maybe if I had a community center growing up, maybe I would already have a business, or maybe I would, me and my friends would have something going on. Maybe my friend, you know, wouldn't be gone. I, I have more than more than five friends that passed away, so, you know, maybe some of my friends will still be here. It's a game changer for our kids. It's a game changer for our senior citizens. It's a game changer for parents. We don't have that now. It's a game changer when you have the opportunity to invest in yourselves. Well, I look at the city of Tacoma as a human body. The east side is a part of that body but that part of the body is in pain. And because of that, the rest of the body is also in pain. And, and, and until we make the city whole, including the east side, we're really not a complete community. The east side is really at a point where there is so much that's coming together that is positive and has so much that's just on the verge of launching. Once the community center is built, I think a lot of that synergy, a lot of those opportunities will coalesce. You know, it can be that toehold within the community for all of those things that are right on the verge of that positive next step.